is Aaron Maurer, and I want to welcome you to the launch and the introduction to our Complexities of Being Human project. This is a project that we piloted a year ago, telling the story of Riva, a Holocaust Jewish woman survivor, that we worked with a book by me publication to tell her story, to make sure her story is not lost to history. This year, we have an amazing new story, a new life of a gentleman who fought in the French resistance during World War II. And this year, we are opening this up to all classrooms who would like to participate. And the goal of this project is to help your students understand history, understand the power of story, understand as in this particular project, the driving question that is really driving this work forward is how can we reflect on the past to change the present for a better future? So your students will be tasked and you as well as the educator to take a written document provided by this gentleman and to convert it into a story that will entice others to want to read this work and to ensure that the story is not lost to history. You will have a lot of voice and choice in terms of how you handle this project. We will provide the skeletal framework. We will work to provide you the resources. We will work to provide you the connections to Michelle, our person who we are telling the story of. We'll provide experts from different industries working in publication and storytelling. In years past, that was people from the comic and graphic novel industry, um, from PBS and other organizations. We will work to see what we can provide this year. We will provide the background support for you through this website that you are accessing this video, as well as a back channel for all educators to ask questions. We'll provide, I'll say it bi-weekly, Zoom meetings for us to come together and share and do this work. And we'll provide a culmination event to bring everybody together, whether in person or virtually, to celebrate our public product for whatever it is that your classroom decides to go. Maybe you're going to create a graphic novel. Maybe you're going to do spoken word. Maybe you're going to do uh, poetry. There's a lot of options that we will get into as this project unfolds. But for the sake of this particular introduction video, I want to welcome you to the project, and I hope you consider signing up. We have an information meeting coming up where we will come together and you can ask questions. The website itself provides the general overview and layout of how the project's going to unfold, but I will tell you there's not a detailed day-to-day -day lesson plan provided because anytime we work with humans and telling the human story, we've got to be nimble and we've got to be ready to pivot, as we all know. Life provides lots of unexpected turns and twists. We will begin this work in January, the date to be determined as we work to find a time to bring the classrooms to a live call with the person in which we'll be telling the story. We will then work through January and February and March, ideally wrapping up the end of March, first week of April. Obviously, you will work to your own scale. The beauty of this project is we don't all have to be doing the same thing at the same time. The resources, the structures, the supports will be there, and is your professional judgment to determine how to best utilize that. We will then be showcasing how all of you are doing this work so we can learn together. So just as much as we hope that our students are learning and collaborating and communicating and working together, we want the educators to be doing the same thing. So we're hoping that you as the educator see this as a professional learning network, a professional learning community to come together and learn from other educators in terms of how they're doing the work, be able to be vulnerable and brave enough to ask questions and for all of us to improve as well. And in the end, we should all walk out better versions of ourselves, regardless of whether we are a student or an educator or whatever your role might be. So along the way, we will be working through this work to bring it all together. We have some exciting details that we will share later in terms of publication and how to get things out. But I will note that one classroom, if they wish to take it on, 
could have their story officially published by a book by me publication. And so when you register, there is an option to sign up for that. Now that comes with some tighter deadlines and some restrictions in terms of how you must write to put the story together. But if that is something of interest, we will have a follow-up meeting with that. So I want to welcome you to our complexities of being human project. Take some time, look through the website. In the days and weeks to come, we will fill in the website with our case study from last year, in which we told the story of Riva. The comic is already available on the website, but we will plug in on the various pages what we did so you can kind of see visually how it unfolded last year, knowing full well that this year will bring its new opportunities. So I welcome you aboard. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out. My contact information is on the website, and I look forward to you and your students joining this incredible opportunity to capture a moment of history as we work to ensure that these stories stay relevant and around for generations to come so history doesn't continue to repeat itself. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace. Thank you.